Well, hello, everybody. Um, thank you for joining me today. Um, I had a video that I did with this flower. Unfortunately, the poinsettia is, I mean, unfortunately, um, it wasn't in focus. So, because it wasn't in focus, it uh, couldn't be used. So, which is too bad. But if you look, and you could see what I did with the snow. Um, I used the um, Posca pen, this one. This is, um, which point is this? This is broad point, point oh, seven millimeter. Um, and I used this up into the trees, which I thought was really cool. I had seen this on a video. Um, a YouTuber and I just thought it was fantastic so she put it up in the trees so I thought okay well let me just go to town on this so there's trees done and then this one obviously is not finished and then um, she also did she was using the Posca pen on the snow but it wasn't working for me it was too translucent so I went ahead and I got out my um, Windsor Newton gouache and this one is uh, permanent white I got the permanent white and um, I put it into a little dish and what I did was I dabbed it in the dish and then I blotted it on and then it looks kind of clumpy you know kind of too specific um, little round circles all over the place. And she was saying do it very lightly. So I then tried doing it very lightly and that wasn't really working too well. So I did it a little bit harder and then I just used my own finger and tapped it to blend it out from the edge in. So it's kind of like you have to work in layers um, because you know you want the whiter parts up at the top and then you want it to fade in and then you want white over the little snow banks and then you want it to fade in so that's what I did with this and I thought it would just look pretty cool so I wanted to demonstrate it just a little bit I mean as you can see I've already got it pretty pretty finished um, some areas it's you know you could see the the lines from the the drawing of the uh, actual picture. So I'm just going to go over and kind of cover that up because I don't obviously don't want that. And then I just dab it with my finger. And I try not to dab it too hard, but just a tiny bit, just to blend it out a little. And then um, I did it around the tree, and then right in here, could be easier. You know, I do most of my work upside down, but this part is really hard doing upside down. But uh, you know, we'll do do what we gotta. And then just let them just blend in. And I really like the way that this looks. Um, I hope you guys would try it and uh, let me know what you what you all think about that. Just another little technique that um, gets used and then the um, putting the snow in here I just think that's so awesome you're just where it would be out in nature I 
again, this would be something that's easier to do right side up as opposed to the upside down. Don't need to be too, too um, bright, right? And I did have to go over it a couple of times um, because this is coming out. I don't know if it's because it's brand new, um, but it's coming out very um, translucent. And, um, you know, that's not what we want. Don't need translucent snow, right? But anyways, it looks, I think it just makes it look so much more wintry. I just think it's awesome. Right? Anyways, so this is, this is, you know, obviously it's still not finished, but I'm not in a hurry. I don't have, it's not a race. I'm not, it'll be done. It'll still, there'll still be no snow on the ground in somewhere. <laughs> maybe, maybe in my sister's town, because she's, there's snow there. Never mind up in the mountains, you know, because people are skiing, I'm sure. So anyway, this is it. All right. So, um, if you like this, let me know. Um, whoops, I spilled it all over myself. Let me know what you think. All right. All right, so enjoy. Um, experiment whenever you can. Um, and uh, thank you for joining me, and you're greatly appreciated, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you.